What is up everybody, it's Fen Diesel here. We're going to be tying up a purple bionic ant. Uh, this is a Lance Egan pattern. The bionic ant has been super effective for me over the years. But let's get started with the dry fly hook. This is a size 16 in a stealth hook. And we're going to be using some semper fly. This is uh, some ADOT wax thread. And we're going to go ahead and start our thread with a little bit of gap behind the hook eye. And I'm going to work my way down the shank of the hook ending at the point. Eh, somewhere between the point and the bend. Uh, would be preferable and we'll go ahead and trim out that tag in and uh, this pattern just slays the fish and this new product by Upavon or Upavon uh, it's a bionic ant foam that comes in a block and you use these gunville cutters that you can uh, I'm basically sizing this to the hook gap and then all you do is just start it slow and go right through making sure not to hit your finger or go through at a skewy angle try to get it as straight as possible and you can pull it out right there or if it gets stuck there's a little hole you can use your uh, little um, like a bodkin or anything but I like to just trim a little bit of that white off for these smaller ones in particular size 16 um, making sure it's not uh, gonna be too much white on there and then I'll just do some loose wraps uh, positioning it so that uh, it's got a little bit of a head there and we'll work our way backwards now and right to where we tied that in before and then I'll just kind of clean this up closing down that foam making sure it doesn't twist on me if it does twist just twist it right back we're going to be applying a little bit of super glue later in the tying process now I'm using some EP trigger point fibers uh, I'm just going to grab I believe this is white I'm just going to grab off about a oh a smidge a little clump of them and what I'll do is I'm going to tie these in um, basically how I do a lot of my rubber legs I'm just going to fold it around the thread bring it right here up on top and then as I work backwards you can see I kind of form them into a V I keep those separate and that I think you know ants have two wings and so that's something I do um, I'll have to rewatch his video see if he does that as well and then um, I trim this butt end to be a little bit longer than the head but not super long um, and then I'll just trim the wing fibers a little bit longer than the butt end there and we are almost done with this fly I'm just gonna clean this up because I want this midsection to appear black I'm trying to minimize the amount of thread wraps so as I make one more pass I'll clean up those white spots and we're using some uh, high and dry um, whiting farms this is a a purple I believe it's uh, let's turn it around this is a grizzly dyed purple um, so it's uh, got a nice little sheen to it. it looks really good and I'm just going to size this I like to step it up a size um, so that this is going to be kind of our midsection and uh, our legs of the fly and also help with some of the floating but you notice the butt end of this this is from a cape it's a little bit thick on the butt end on the stem so I'm just going to discard that prep my feather and I'm going to tie it in here um, with a little bit of a tag end. you can see I just cleaned up most of that white um, this is where we apply our cement and I'm going to just load it on right here on the top and this is going to also one make it so it doesn't twist on us but two we got to move really quick here wrapping our hackle because this is going to help make the hackle a little bit more durable so it's going to bond to that Z cement um, to the thread to the fly and notice how I've got a little bit of a gap behind the hackle I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap in front of the hackle um, that's just uh, I think what makes it look a little more ant like and I know that uh, I probably added way more wraps than I think Lance does it but um, I like it to float and uh, that's how I do it so um, I'll just trim that out after securing it and we'll do a three turn whip finish right here uh, behind the eye one to kind of help that foam kind of pop up and then I'll do a second one here just around that uh, uh, foam just to do a double whip finish so I'm not applying more cement or more um, weight to this than I need to and then we'll just go ahead and trim that uh, tag end out once we get it secure I trap down a few fibers there um, that's uh, not uncommon but all I do is just get in there with the scissors and trim them out to user preference I think it adds to the bugginess but the last step is trim this bottom flush uh, it helps it land good um, sit flat I know that he adds legs to his um, I think by trimming this flat um, I eliminate that step I'm, I'm not opposed I add the legs on them sometimes as well and so I just uh, wanted to try it out and I'm tying up a bunch of these figure I might as well throw up a video 
and uh, try them out. They catch fish. Uh, I've tested them over and over again. It's just a money fly. And uh, this is the first time tying them in purple, but I've had really good luck in browns and blacks. So hopefully they catch some fish for you too. And thanks for watching.